Good morning and welcome back to Beans Guys Fitness. Here for my morning. Went out to do some deliveries, but uh, didn't get any offers. And that's a first for first thing in the morning. But I guess if it's going to happen, it would be on a Monday. So I'm going to walk out here to the pond. It's a uh, it's a nice warm morning, probably. 60 degrees and I figured I'd take advantage of it while I can. You can see I've added to the habitat pile. Did some more trimming. I can duck under some of the trees. Yeah, we did get some rain. Not a lot. We did get some. But uh, in all reality, we need, a, we need some downpours for it to happen. Otherwise, I got the incredible shrinking Pond. Walk about and get some fresh air. Get the blood moving before I have my morning shake. Why not have the shake before the walk? Ooh, that wouldn't work out too well. <laughs> and those who take shakes probably understand what I'm saying. So, today I think I'm going to do arms. I'm going to do kind of a full body exercise, light weights, reps. Uh, Mom and I went out for the Veterans Day Parade. We had a wee bit of fun. So I'm not feeling 100%, but I'm still going to do the workout, and I'll move my bench day to Tuesday. That's, you know, the kind of things you need to do when you're... Trying to enjoy yourself. Remember, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. I worked all day Saturday. <clears throat> so, Sunday I did take off. Didn't even do deliveries. Figured just one day with the wife. We had a great time. Good band. Uh, I'll be posting some bagpipe music later. It'll probably get copyrighted. Who cares? And, uh, it's, you know, it's not strikes. It just... We ain't paying you anything. He said, well, you only pay me pennies anyway. So I'm just out here to oh, get out here before the rain rolls through again. We're getting some light rain. That's fine. When I have those days, I just don't walk too far from the house. We got mail. I'll grab that on the way back. So it's like days like this. I just kind of stay within striking distance of the house in case it starts raining. If I get out a mile away and it starts raining, well, I'm going to be a wet puppy. So, my second channel finally hit one of the milestones, got over a thousand subs. <clears throat> but you need like 3,000 viewing hours and I got like 170. So, it's going to be a long time before that gets monetized, if ever. But uh, it was just kind of a second thought. I had somebody saying, hey, you know, if you're going to be posting these walks in the wildlife, you should put it on a different channel. And so I did. <clears throat> and I started thinking about, why am I letting somebody dictate what I'm putting on my channel? So now I kind of run both of them. But uh, I think walks is part of fitness. Getting out here, enjoying outdoors and that. See all those trees? So the big ones I planted. And those are all volunteers and they go all the way up to the house. In a couple years, I will have a little forest there, a little cedar forest. Which will probably bode well for wildlife. I haven't done a can pickup for a while. And you can tell. Oh yeah, we've got the white claws. We know what we say about white claws, right? Beta males, because why you say beta male? It's been my experience. Women rarely throw trash out the window. Not that there isn't an outlier every now and then, but I've never seen it. So this is male going, oh, I better toss these. Otherwise, my wife knows I'm drinking a white claw. So, 
She knows you're drinking White Claw. Take the cans home and dispose of them. All right, come on. So I take the caps, tabs off. I say those for veterans. And I crunch the cans, and then later on I'll come by and uh, collect them up. You know, it, I guess for the summer I earn maybe an extra $20 doing that. Comes to probably about 10 cents an hour. But it's, you know, my job trying to keep America clean. I find most people who are the loudest about climate change and all that other stuff don't do anything at home about it. You want to clean up the planet? Start at home. Pick up the trash out of your yard. Then start picking up the trash off your street, around your block. Keep your block clean, keep your street clean, and you can say something. But if not, you're just making noise, which most people do. But that's about as political as, as I will get on that. Well, look. What do we got here? Oh, paper cups. No reason for that. Keep it in your car, wait till you get home, throw it in the trash. But, beautiful day, the wind tied down. It's just, uh, you know, cool enough to put a light coat on. And don't have to worry about working up too much of a sweat. I haven't got a lot of hikes in this year. And the reason being is, my foot was messed up for a while. Uh, for the bad work boots and that, and it's just... It's feeling better now, but it literally was to a point where I couldn't stand going for a long walk. It just caused too much pain, and I can't stress enough how important it is to keep walking for your health. Because once you are no longer able to walk, life goes downhill really quickly. Uh, got a light beer. And the same thing, I just crunch it. And one of these days I'll come by with the uh, plastic bag and just pick them up. To be honest with you, considering as long as it has been since I've walked down here, it's not a lot of cans, so, you know, it's kind of encouraging. Of course, I haven't turned the corner yet. <laughs> but, uh, just getting ready for, well, Thanksgiving's on the way, and Christmas. And then we got that month of January and most of February where it's just, I don't know, where we live, it's just miserable. It's cold, cold, cold. I get up, it's dark. I come home, it's dark. I feel like a vampire. But that's a good time to really start hitting the gym heavier, which I'm going to start doing. So what it was is I really put time and effort in that second job here for, well, it's been going on about two months now, maybe two and a half months. And I'm starting to see where I'm getting caught up with my financial obligations and might even start making some headway. So then, like right now, I shut the apps off because I had it on for an hour and I didn't get anything. And I said, what's going to happen is I'm going to have it on. I'm going to keep looking at it, keep looking at it. And then I'm not going to get anything done. So after the walk, I'll get back and make my shake. And then... Uh, Little R and R. And here we got bush light. So so far only four cans. That's actually quite a low number. I know I'm turning around back towards the house again. And if I know if I go the other direction and turn that corner, I'll probably hit pay dirt. Here's one that got flattened already. I'll put that out here further. Cores. 
just to make it easier for me to pick up I'll probably if I think there's enough I'll come out here and pick them up five cans that's not enough yet and there's a six one got crunched by the road but yeah you need to uh, balance your life you know figure out that balance between physical health mental health and financial health and they'll all three of them kind of tie into your your general well-being better physical shape you're in the better you feel about yourself so that helps your mental health and the better financial shape you're in that's less stress once again helping your mental health and uh, I know it's here in about a day or two there's gonna be a lot of stress being broadcast regardless how the election goes you know my thoughts on it you should base your your choice on your own research okay not what you see in the media because the media these days maybe it was always that way we just didn't know but they lie they get caught in so many lies why would anybody believe them again you know what you see on TikTok and Twitter just most of them are just paid actors I ain't talking just about the actors in Hollywood I'm just talking people are paid to spread misinformation and then there's other ones that are paid to sit there and comment it on like what they're saying has any validity and it doesn't all right do some research you'll find out this is about 90 percent of those stories are either completely false or a lot has been left out so stop being manipulated by the media I encourage everybody to vote regardless who they vote for but those ones are those young ladies and and women are putting out those TikToks. well I canceled my husband's vote you didn't cancel anybody's vote you voted which you should you didn't cancel anybody's vote it's not like you voted and there's one away you both voted and no no husband is telling their wife who they have to vote for that is an utter myth from Hollywood all right my wife will vote for whoever she wants to do I have an idea who she's voting for yeah from what she said I'm not telling her who to vote for you know husband has we have a break that people would even fall for that I'm canceling my father you're not canceling anybody's vote and it's childish of you to make such a video it really is I encourage everybody to vote I encourage everybody to get educated TikTok is not education about what is really at stake and when I look at it if you're happy the last four years well then that's where you're probably gonna vote if you're not well and there's people going well I don't think it matters well it matters voice your opinion I don't even care if you vote off party voice your opinion otherwise I'll just keep playing this game on us and then election day vote turn the TV off I tell you they're gonna have so much drama just wait till the next day when you kind of got an idea of actually what's happening and that's about all I'm gonna cover on that subject so and tomorrow go vote if you haven't already voted and uh then go enjoy life so I guarantee you the story will change every hour there's gonna be so much clickbait on all three sides of this thing everybody just putting stuff out there so they can earn some money because a lot of these people get paid so I'll make one to two thousand dollars a day to put out this information don't fall for it all right and don't get stressed over it regardless how it goes not much will change out here in the country 
I just I do fear for the big cities. But it is what it is. It's the life we have. So our reason to be in good financial shape and a good in good physical shape so we can weather this storm. Whether we want to or not. Yeah, what do we got here? Huh. Well, that was a nice little walk. I grabbed the mail, go in, have my shake, maybe play a little Fallout 4, and then head to the gym. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Go vote and turn the TV off and relax. Have a great day.